What's up guys, Ivan here, and in this video I'm going to review this draggy GPS based performance tracker. Now normally I would be in an electric car, but today I'm in my work truck, this is a 2015 Toyota Tundra with a 5.7 V8, but here it is, little LED light here. Well, what I'm going to do first is go to the draggy app, you get a little tiny 5 second commercial from draggy. And then you can click connect, but first you gotta connect to uh, turn on the Bluetooth. Click connect. As you can see here, that turned blue. And now it's gonna start turning red. While it's uh, after, of course, it connects to the satellites. You wanna place this right up here so it has the best possible coverage. All right, looks like we're connected. Up here, it says uh, we got one of two bars for the satellite. Bluetooth connection is decent. Got a full battery. Okay, it just improved. So it jumps back and forth. As you can see here, we are surrounded by trees, so it's not gonna be the best. So where you wanna do this is gonna be far more clear than where I am at right now. Also, this is actually the uh, USB, micro USB cable that came with the Draggy device but at the moment I won't be using it because it's already fully charged. Now when you get to the main screen, once everything is connected, you're gonna to come to this right here, this little dial that allows you to track uh, what your tracking perimeters are. So for instance, right now, we got 60 miles an hour, 120 miles per hour. And of course, we got a quarter mile right here. You could add and change up the ones you wanna track by clicking on here. So you can check and uncheck the ones you wanna track you can see 0 to 30, 0 to 60, 61 to 130, etc. For me, I don't want to track really any of these except for um, quarter mile. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's all I really want to track is the 0 to 60 and the quarter mile. And then, of course, if you also want to add some custom ones, you can as well. You could do custom speeds course custom distances so instead of a mile you could do half a mile um, you could do one and a half miles and things like that so click on that come back all right now going up here down here you can go to leaderboards and see all the people how they're doing with all their stats I believe these are all the 0 60 times or some performance stats I believe those are yeah 0 60 times and uh, don't get discouraged because those are all usually pretty highly modified vehicles. You can click on feed here or you can scroll through all the people who posted things recently. I don't have internet right now, but you can look at the pictures and also reels and recordings. Like this one, for example. This guy does a zero to whatever run. He went so fast that the camera shifted. Anyway, you can go through all these and scroll. There's just an endless list of photos and videos. You can click on the profile here. Or you can go to your notifications, your history, your garage. You can add your vehicle. You can go to all the videos that you saved once you started recording them. They'll be all saved right here. And then, of course, where you get to the videos is right here. Tap this little camera icon. You will see this now of course it'd be nice to have a little mount for the windshield so you can mount your phone so you can tap record and it will let you see the on-screen recordings of your 0 60 quarter mile half mile and things like that
saw two amateur runs with this draggy GPS based tracker. I got about eight something seconds, zero to 60. It's the worst time to actually uh, track the, the times. Um, it's rush hour, whole bunch of traffic. Next time I'm gonna come here in the late, late evening, probably 9.30, 10.30 p.m. ish, and there should be far more empty roads available to actually stop and do some kind of launch. Uh, but grab one of these on Amazon. I got mine there for 150 bucks. Um, used ones go for just a little bit less on eBay, but quite frankly, I prefer again on Amazon because there's a return policy and um, if something goes down, you can just exchange or get a refund. Take this on the racetrack though in a drag strip. Don't do it on the streets. It's a little, it's a little sketchy. I did this just for demonstration purposes because I don't know of any uh, drag strips or racetracks in the area. But if anything, I hope I sold you on the idea of getting one of these because if you're at all a, a car enthusiast of any kind, electric cars, gas cars, diesel trucks, whatever, you'll have quite a bit of fun with this um, because you can track just so many different things. So the, the company Draggy is also coming out with uh, different apps. On the app itself, every time you start it up, at least for now, uh, in 2022, it's showing, you, showing me a little ad of their 3D map tracker. I think it's one, there's another app by them that lets you like track the times uh, you do on the racetrack. Uh, I didn't really look into it, but at first glance, that's what it looked like. So they seem to be going very far um, with their app and of course their device. And there seems to be a pretty big community of people on the app um, on, you know, when you scroll on the feeds, posting things up with their videos and photos and things like that. So um, 150 bucks, I think that's really good price. And just by, by doing basic research, it was quite a bit cheaper than um, many other ones available, like VBox and some other, I guess, more older companies. They tend to be in that three, four, five, six hundred dollars uh, range for the devices. So the, they made it pretty uh, user friendly and cost effective to uh, do pretty much what those other bigger, bigger companies do. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.